If you really want to do something, you will find a way. If you don't, you will find an excuse. Jim Rohn Why don't you buy books for your kids? Why are you not interested in helping your kids to read? My friends, in this video, we are going to bust the most common excuses we hear for these questions. So come on, let's do it. My kids don't like reading. Wrong. Take it from the most celebrated author of our time. J.K. Rowling says, If you don't like to read, you haven't found the right book. Yes, choose the right book for your kid. Our kids have different interests, different reading preferences and attention span. Look for books with good storyline, rich illustrations and preferably related to their hobbies or interests. Here is the first step. Try books of different genre, comics, stories, illustrated non-fiction, graphics, series, books, etc. for beginner readers. I have no time. But seriously, we all have 24 hours a day. It is true that a parent's schedule is hectic. It is difficult to find pockets of time for other activities along with feeding, cleaning and schooling. Unless you consider reading to kids as priority and as a necessity like feeding, cleaning and schooling. Most of us think reading is only for improving our kids language and vocabulary. The real benefit of reading is to help raise our kids as great human beings with knowledge, awareness and kindness. As parents, isn't that you all ask there for? Now the sprout step. The secret of your success is found in your daily routine. If you want to find time for reading, fit it in your daily routine. For example, make a bedtime reading routine. Make it a habit to read to your children every night at bed. You will no longer need to find another time to read. I have no money to buy books. We hear you all the time. But books are the best investment you can make for your children. Every physical thing you buy for your children, dresses, food, toys and other things will eventually lose its value after the use. But the knowledge they get through the books will remain forever. So. Visiting in public libraries and borrowing books will help us with reading. Owning their books is essential to raise readers. Children should be able to carry and read their books everywhere, anytime. And those books are reread a hundred times as part of their reading journey. Our first step is to shift our attitude about spending money on books. Money like time is a matter of priority. Books being the best investment should be a priority while spending for our children. I don't know about books and raising readers. Maybe, but you always can learn. In this age of information at our fingertips, there are million possibilities to know about books and raising readers. What is proud tip for this? Follow us on YouTube, Instagram or Facebook. We are sharing the best books available for your children and lots of information about raising readers. It is too late to be in raising readers. Never. It is never late. Most of the avid readers started reading very late in their life. So the ideal age to begin reading to kids is way early. You can begin the journey anytime. Here is a first step. Never judge your kids reading ability with other children of same age. Instead, focus on the progress he or she made in their own reading journey. So friends, that's all for today. Stop making excuses and find a way to raise your children as readers. So keep reading.